today I'm going to be taking down the fall garden. I feel like um, there's going to be a lot of work, so I'm probably going to speed through quite a bit of it on the video. But my main goals today are to take down the green fence, uh, the plastic fence that's around it, and to take down the trellising and then clear out the areas that are like on the sidewalk or overreaching onto the to the road. I probably will wait till tomorrow to clear everything out because we've got some errands to run today. But uh, I thought I'd have you see the process and I may or may not, depending how long the video ends up being, I may show you the whole thing at once or I may break it up into two. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, so here goes. So as you can see, the fence has been removed from this area and this is the stuff I have to pick up, but I also need to pull up some of this stuff to clear it out. Normally I would leave some of it, but I think because it's in the front yard um, and also this is my first time gardening, I am gonna pull a lot of it up and um, of course put it in my compost, but I also want to see what I have to work with in the garden and I plan on having this huge holly bush removed and I know they're gonna trample in this garden bed. So I might as well have it cleared out so they can see the borders of it and, and maybe reduce the amount of uh, trampling they do. But you know, workers will be workers. You can only do so much. Okay, so here's the end product of at least removing the fence, most of it, and cleaning up the front area where all of those flowers were laying onto the sidewalk the path um, it's not really a sidewalk because it doesn't really continue, but it's a little brick path right in front of the first garden. Um, yeah, so one thing I'd like to show you is it's just, you know, it's all experiment. It's all learning process. Do you see here these roots that I've left out? Those are coxcomb. Uh, those are globe amaranth, I'm sorry, roots. And I left them in the soil because my experience has been that the plant will die back, that the the stem will die back and the what I've heard is that the roots will kind of disintegrate into the soil and I've learned that you know plants that I kind of cut up at the beginning of the summer were just so much easier to take out of the soil later once the roots had kind of broken down and I also want to save as much of the soil as possible and I'm trying to do the no dig system to the extent that I can. I still have lots to do. Next week I plan to take on the tomato and sunflowers section. And I also need to go through my soil bags, my growing containers, clean them up and figure out what to do with the soil. Uh, I'd like your suggestions actually, because I grew um, squash in several of these containers and the vine borers got to them and I really don't know what I should do in terms of weather. I mean, obviously there's no squash in there right now. Oh, I left a duct tape out, get that. Um, but what would you do? Should I save the soil? Should I put it somewhere for a year? Um, should I put it with my compost like I'm planning on doing with the other soil that was in containers? Let me know what you think. I will add one more thing, which is that this is the um, container that I loaded all of the stuff I pulled out of the garden into. You can see <laughs> she's pretty full. I mean, if I, not that I would be able to, but if I got in there and stomped on it, it would probably go down by half. But it's still a good amount. Uh, I'm going to take this to the other side of the fence where I've been keeping the compost and uh, let it sit there for the, for the winter. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing me putz around and trying to clean it up and trying to get that fence free of the, the flowers. 
Tell me, what have you done to clean up your garden for the winter? Are you leaving it in place for the bugs? Like, I would love to do if it didn't look such a hot mess from the street. Um, and uh, are you planting anything to overwinter? Things like that. If you hit... if. <laughs> If you like this video please hit the like button and if you aren't already a subscriber and you enjoyed this please consider subscribing otherwise i'll see you next time